Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. Today, we are going to tackle another one of my favorite bands of all time, The Mighty Black Sabbath. So, with a ton of great albums and so many favorite songs, as you can imagine, this was fairly difficult. You know, I have probably a good 25 key songs that are, you know, near and dear to me, really near and dear to me. And it's just funny how as much as I love like the Dio era of the band, like the, the few albums they did with Dio, and uh, I love the Born Again album, I love the Seven Star album, barely if any of those songs made my top 10. I, I think those classic, classic early Ozzy albums is just kind of where the most of my favorite tracks sit, although a couple of Dio tracks did make uh, my top 10. But I've got a, a pretty huge um, honorable mentions list, which kind of goes into a lot of the other stuff that I like. So let's kick this off. Why don't we? We're going to start at number 10 from the Mob Rules album, Sign of the Southern Cross. Just And there's a lot of great songs on Mob Rules. And, you know, the title track is a big favorite of mine. And Voodoo is great. And Turn Up the Night, you know, and so many great songs on that. But for me, I think Sign of the Southern Cross is just this dark, melancholy, doomy gem that I've always just really loved. And it's so freaking heavy. Um, one of my favorite tunes from those first two albums with Dio there. So that comes in at number 10. Coming in at number 9 from the Paranoid album, Fairies Wear Boots. You know, and I probably mentioned this numerous times before on this channel, the Paranoid album is the first album that I really got into from Sabbath. That was probably like in the late 70s. And that forever changed my life into discovering like heavier music beyond Kiss. And as most folks who kind of grew up with the Paranoid album, you know, Iron Man and War Pigs and, of course, the title track, we've all heard to death. And while we all still love those songs, I, I think for me over the years is I, I gravitated more towards... Uh, Fairies... Uh, War Pigs I still love a lot. Iron Man I'm, I'm kind of done with. Paranoid I probably never need to hear again. Although can't knock the fact that it's a great track, right? And a classic track. But for me, Fairies Wear Boots was always like the hidden blockbuster on that album. Just such a dark and menacing, cool tune with a lot of great changes of arrangement and really good instrumental passages. I mean, this band was a band of virtuosos here who really were just clicking on all cylinders back in the day. So Fairies Wear Boots for me, uh, the hidden gem of that album. But, you know, you got Hand of Doom and Electric Funeral too, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, number eight for me from the Sabotage album is Hole in the Sky. I just love the riff. It's just such a barn burner of a track and, I, you know, great to play on guitar just a really, really cool tune that I've always really loved. And two of like the real, real heavy hitters on that album. Um, a great album, a very adventurous album for the band. Coming in at number seven, the title track to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. How can you not love that song? Sabbath Bloody Sabbath is one of those albums, I think, when I was a kid and first getting into Sabbath, that album in general. What, you know, I always really liked it, but wasn't among my favorites back when I was a teenager. But... Fast forward all these years, and now I'm in my 50s. I, I really, really love and appreciate the Sabbath Bloody Sabbath album. There's so many great tunes on that. That is one of my favorites, okay? We'll get, get to that. Uh, so that comes in at number seven. Number six, how about Under the Sun? Right? From the, my, my favorite Sabbath album, Volume 4. Surprisingly enough, you know, sometimes you, you like albums and they're your favorite albums by a band because the track list top to bottom is just so stellar. But you may have other favorites from other albums. So, like, surprisingly, Volume 4 only has a couple of picks in my top 10 here, but I love that album so much top to bottom. And Under the Sun is just, it's so heavy. My God. That's like, you know, Doom and Stoner to a T, like the, the birth of all that stuff. I mean, doesn't get any better than that song. Just so, I mean, Iommi's guitar is so heavy on that. It's like, that's what you call like a dirge, right? It's just awesome. Coming in at number five, back to the Sabbath Bloody Sabbath album, my favorite song from that album, National Acrobat. Such a great tune. Great tune that I've just loved more and more as the years and decades have gone by. 
just so, some great arrangements in there. I love Iommi's guitar work. Ozzy just sings awesome on that. Everything about that song is just absolutely great. Number four from the Master of Reality album, Into the Void. Just such a great, great song. So heavy. Uh, it was great to finally see them play that live, uh, you know, on the reunion tours with Ozzy and stuff. Very cool. Coming in at number three, the title track to a classic album, Heaven and Hell. Ronnie James Dio at the height of his powers. Just such a great, majestic, powerful song. And like when you see them play that live, ugh, it's one of the best, you know, People often ask me, what are some of the best concerts I've ever seen in my life? And there's been so many of them, but I can recall seeing Sabbath play Heaven and Hell on the Mob Rules Tour, which was my first time seeing Black Sabbath back in, oh, was that 1982, I believe? I think it was 82. And just seeing them play that. And then I got to see them do it a few times back when they got back together with uh, Ronnie in the... Uh, the 2000s and just every time it's just such a moving experience so that comes in at number three number two back to the master of reality album i just always love this tune it's just menacing it's pile driving it's just everything that was early sabbath children of the grave just such a scorcher of a tune i love the mammoth riffing in that song and bill ward's crazy drums ah, it's just such a great song all right Number one, folks, back to my favorite Sabbath album of all time, Volume 4, Snowblind. You know, there's heavier songs in the Sabbath canon. There's probably more dramatic songs in the Sabbath canon, but I don't know what it is. Something about Snowblind has always just infiltrated my brain and my body, and it's it's been my favorite Sabbath album for decades. I mean, my favorite Sabbath song for decades, and... I just love it to death, man. I love all the little changes that go on in the song. I love the guitar solo. I love the vocals. Man, everything about it. It's, it's just great. Classic classic Black Sabbath. So, how about some honorable mentions? Why don't we? Let's, As we always do, let's start from the beginning. None of these songs made my top ten, although I love this album to death. Actually, one of them was in my top ten, and it got bumped at the last minute. So, title track, Black Sabbath, of course, The Wizard. Uh, NIB is the one that got bumped. I've always loved NIB to death. Uh, Wicked World, another great one. From the Paranoid album, War Pigs. Of course, you gotta love War Pigs. Uh, gotta love Iron Man, even though I'm pretty tired of it. Uh, Hand of Doom and Electric Funeral, absolutely. I'm gonna include Paranoid in my honorable mentions just because it's such a classic tune. It's one of the first songs I think I ever learned to play on guitar, start to finish. So I, I never need to hear it again, but it's a classic. Uh, from Master Reality, how about Sweet Leaf? After Forever, which is a song that I really wanted to include. Uh, I love that song. Uh, Lord of This World, another favorite of mine from Master Reality. From Volume 4, how about the opening track, Wheels of Confusion? That's such an underrated track. Tomorrow's Dream, another song, an early song that I learned how to play top to, front to, top to bottom, start to finish on guitar. Um, Supernaut, love Supernaut to death. Cornucopia, St. Vitus Dance, great songs from Volume 4. How about some other gems from Sabbath Bloody Sabbath? Uh, Sabra Cadabra, Killing Yourself to Live, another one that I really wanted to include but just couldn't fit it. Spiral Architect from Sabotage. How about the Symptom of the Universe, right? Ugh, great. Megalomania, Thrill of It All, The Writ from Technical Ecstasy, Backstreet Kids, and Dirty Women, which is easily my favorite song off that album. Uh, the title track to Never Say Die, really the only song that I love on that album. Uh, from Heaven and Hell, Neon Knights, all right, the bulldozing opener, Children of the Sea, Die Young, Die Young, I really wanted to squeeze in somehow, couldn't do it. Uh, Lonely is the Word, that closing couple minutes of greatness from the Heaven and Hell album. From Mob Rules, how about uh, the title track, Voodoo, Falling Off the Edge of the World, Turn Up the Night. From Born Again, an album that I love to death, but I just couldn't see unseating any of the songs in my top ten to put any of the tracks on there, but I want to give a shout-out to Disturbing the Priest, Zero the Hero, the title track, Hotline, Trash, The Fallen, which was that leftover track that's on the remaster. Great, great song. From Seventh Star with Glenn Hughes, In for the Kill, Turn to Stone, title track, Seventh Star, Danger Zone. How about the Tony Martin era, Eternal Idol, The Shining, and Glory Ride, from Headless Cross, which is my favorite album of the uh, Tony Martin era. The title track, Devil and Daughter, which I love to death. When Death Calls, I think my favorite song from the entire Tony Martin era of the band. 
Kill in the Spirit World, from Tear, how about Anno Mundi and the Sabbath Stones, uh, more Dio stuff from Dehumanizer, Computer God, I, which another song that I really wanted to squeeze into my top 10, TV Crimes, After All, The Dead, from Cross Purposes, uh, another Tony Martin album, Cross of Thorns, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, uh, from 13, which is their final album with Ozzy, uh, The End of the Beginning, God is Dead. I love that whole album, but I really love those two tracks a lot. And I want to give a shout out to the Heaven and Hell album, The Devil You Know. How about Fear, Bible Black, and Adam and Evil? Another strong album. So there you have my honorable mentions from Mighty Black Sabbath, a band that I just love to death and have since I was a wee little lad. Let's go over my top ten one more time. Coming in at number one, Snowblind. Number two, Children of the Grave. Number three, Heaven and Hell. Number four, Into the Void. Number five, A National Acrobat. Number six, Under the Sun. Number seven, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Number eight, Hole in the Sky. Number nine, Fairies Wear Boots. And number ten, The Sign of the Southern Cross. Hope you like this little look at some of the classics, in my opinion, from Black Sabbath. In the meantime, after you've digested this and gone back into your Sabbath collection to see what your favorites are and putting them in the comments and feedback, make sure you go to the website www.seatranquility.org. Check out all our latest news and reviews on all sorts of good stuff that's come out. Check us out on Facebook. We've got lots of great polls and things going on there every single day. So go ahead and like us and take part in the polls and vote for some cool albums and bands and musicians and all that kind of stuff. Also check us out on Twitter. Got more, lots more of these uh, top 10 songs coming up. I'm going to do a Uriah Heap one like any day now. That's coming up next, I believe. Uh, ELO is also on the immediate pipeline. I think I'm going to do a Grand Funk real soon too, so stay tuned for that. We've got lots of history of shows, new product reviews, rants. All sorts of stuff. Questions and answers coming up again, hopefully this weekend or early next week. So till then, take care. See you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.